How are dash cameras made? Ted and I shut up shop and we went to Korea to see the Thinkware dash camera factory. And I gotta say, it was very impressive. It was over three acres in size. And these guys don't only manufacture dash cameras. They even have a scooter that goes under the name Road Gear, which is only available in Korea. And they even have a separate division, which unfortunately we couldn't get to see, that makes vehicles for the Korean market. Either way, let's dive right in and explore how dash cameras are made. This is how you have to enter the Thinkware facility is with these beautiful clothes and, and beautiful shoes. So this right here is the chip center. You want a chip that's going to work for the dash camera? You imagine it, and it's here. There's rolls and rolls and spools and spools galore of chips. And that you'll see later on about how these rolls and spools actually end up getting put onto the machine, and then it's like electronically soldered through some sort of robotic, crazy automation. It's pretty cool. The air shower entrance. Time to get your shower on of air. So this is like this is like they're bored figuring out like what they're working on, what they're manufacturing, and what they're doing for the day. Look at all those. That's crazy, eh? Walking through the factory. So this thing here actually holds tons and tons of the boards that's actually for the dash cameras. And then it takes those boards and we actually, they load them into this machine. And then you'll see down below those discs that we showed you earlier, those rolls of all the chips are actually on the bottom of the machine. And it keeps on spinning the rolls depending on the chips that are needed. And then it's soldered directly on by this automation of this machine. And it happens very, very quick. And it's amazing because there's absolutely no human interaction with it other than obviously loading the rolls onto the actual machine. That's crazy, eh? Just how all of it, it's all moving and very quick, very quick. The visual the, inspection. Yeah, the part must be in the correct position. Unless, like, a, if the part is in, cor in the incorrect position, the machine, the inspection machine will tell, like, the failure. Like the checks. Oh, I see, I see. Main PCB. Oh, they're putting, like, uh. Triple cab and, like, oh, a, okay. yeah, mic. Yeah, mic. I see a SIM slot. Oh, interesting. And then that goes in here. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you can go solder. Yeah, you can go solder. Well, I, I just want, I just, yeah, try to be respectful, right? So, wow. And it's just soldering all those connections. Yeah. That's pretty cool, eh? So we, this process is manual insertion and manual soldering process, but we don't use a human two lines. First line and second line. And they run different models, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at this one's going. These are cool machines, I tell you. They just go, eh? What is it that their main assembly? Uh, yeah, main assembly. Just do the whole. 
and then they're looking at they grab them and do like spot checks basically right to actually see if their the quality is correct no no she's putting some like a cushion cushion part oh okay I'm just, I'm trying to not so counting of the raw material is important during the like manufacturing process because you're just putting the sd card in yeah very interesting we actually i did get a uh this little thing has all the screws in there and then they get pulled not pulled they take the screws out and put them on the unit like this okay oh, sorry sorry you're trying to ruin with me It's interesting, all the testing. So, it's not. It's so all the dash cameras end up in these foam inserts and then they actually get put into plastic bags, which is the plastic bag that you see in your Thinkware dash camera box. And then it gets packaged up and put into the cameras. actual final facility for where all the inventory is. And when we actually look at the boxes, depending on what origins it's going to, for instance, this box here has a JP on it, which means these sh these products are actually shipping directly to Japan. And Thinkware is a global company, so they're shipping in all sorts of places around the world, which means they have to have all the certifications for the UK, North America, they need to have the FCC IDs. There's a lot of different things involved with getting the product manufactured. Well, I hope you enjoyed our video on how dash cameras are made. I know Ted and I learned a lot. We tried to condense this video to as small as possible for you because honestly, having like hours of footage can be a little overwhelming, but this could should give you a very good idea of what's involved with manufacturing a dash camera. And as you can see from the Thinkware facility, there was white glove service when it came down to the actual product. There were a few areas they didn't allow us to record and we respected it because a lot of it had to do with like intellectual property or certain um, things they didn't want their competitors to know about. We did get to see it and it was very educational. However, we respectively did not actually record and we're also not gonna talk about it in any kind of public forum out of respect for the manufacturer. Also, if you are looking to support us, we do offer de professional dash camera installation in Greater Vancouver or Greater Toronto. We also do sell dash cameras on our website. Check us out, safedrivesolutions.com. Thanks again.